Hey guys, it's Virgo season. Now today we're gonna be talking about a play that left a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. So today we're gonna be talking about The Octoroon by Dion Boussico. Boo. The Octoroon was first performed in 1859 at the Winter Garden Theater in New York City. But Dion once starred in his own play, The Vampire, in 1852. The Octoroon focuses around the idea of the tragic Mulana, who in this case is Zoe. She is passable as white, but she's actually an eighth black, which is how she gets the name of the Octoroon. Spoiler alert, that's the whole show. So she is supposedly in love with the heir to the plantation, George, and he is also supposedly in love with her because of her beauty. But there's this whole fiasco where the plantation's up for sale and they can't figure out what's going on. So McCloskey comes in and becomes the villain of the story and tries to buy Zoe for her beauty because she doesn't want to be with him, she wants to be with George. You gotta be kidding me. Kidding me. Squid me. Squid me. Personally, I was not a fan of this. It seemed like this giant caricature of Romeo and Juliet in a racist light that didn't even have anything to do with love. Essentially, it boils down to this woman being treated as a piece of property and a sexual object by everyone in the show because supposedly every man loves Zoe. And it's not just Zoe who ends up being an item, it's Dora. Dora isn't a person, Dora is money. Instead of exploring her character, we're exploring her wallet. So the Octoroon may have been seen as progressive in the 1800s when it was written and performed because it did show a potentially interracial couple and it did have some justice for Paul who was blatantly murdered in that show, but it still has two black characters killed off, Zoe and Paul. It has all of the slaves written with a very racial dialect and it shows Native Americans as essentially savages who don't know how to get along with other people because Guess what? He's almost lynched just because they don't understand what he's saying. In the end, the white man still comes out on top. Everything's okay for him. Typical, I guess. But if you like shows that have a little bit of controversy and get people talking, this might be the show for you. I don't know. But this Virgo is out. Bye.